So welcome, welcome today. So we'll have a in MCQ discussion part two. You all will be aware that uh, recent times, May 2019 has introduced so many new pattern of MCQs. In addition to the single response type, we have match the following, sequence of arrangement, extended MCQs and so many different types of MCQs. We will, every part we will try to cover the new pattern of MCQs which have been asked in the May exam and similar MCQs, high yield MCQs also will try to provide as many as possible for your aim celebration. Okay. We will see the recent May 2019 AIMS MCQ, recent pattern MCQ, in which they have given seven options. The question is, arrange the following in sequence according to the order of sound conduction, order of sound conduction from periphery to the center, very important. First they are asking us to arrange in the order and very important to note here is they are asking to arrange from periphery to the center. This is very important. What are the options here? The first option is medial geniculate body. Second one is auditory cortex. Third option is lateral lemniscus. Fourth one is inferior colliculus. Fifth option is eighth nerve. Sixth option is cochlear nucleus. And the seventh option is superior olivary nucleus. Just don't see the options. Just try to recollect the mnemonic which you have learnt. If you remember the mnemonic, this question is a cakewalk for you. What is the age old mnemonic for this sound conduction or auditory pathway? It's, you can uh, remember it with some uh, bacteria. Are you able to recollect? This is E. coli ma. E. C. O. L. I. M. A. E. C. O. L. I. M. A. E. coli ma. You remember this mnemonic. If you remember this mnemonic, the order is exact order. You just give this mnemonic to this M, uh, options. What is E stands for? What does E stands for? Eighth now. E for eighth now. What is C? Cochlear nucleus. What is O? O in the mnemonic stands for olivary nucleus. That is superior olivary nucleus. What is L? Lateral lemniscus. What is I? Inferior colliculus. What is M? Medial geniculate body. And what is the A? Auditory cortex. So that's it. So based on this you arrange. So E number 5. C number 6, O superior olive nucleus number 7. You see, you stop with this. You see in the options, is there any order like 5, 6, 7? Just go through. First one, no. Second one, no. Third one, no. See here, 5, 6, 7. So, fourth one is the option. Fourth one is the correct answer. If you want to check, if you make it doubly sure, you see 3 is L, right? Sorry. So L is 3, I is 4, M is 1, A is 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, see, 3, 4, 1, 2. So the correct answer is option D. So very important thing here is, you remember the mnemonic, E. Colima, auditory pathway. Based on that, what are they are, order they ask, you need not worry. In this question, they have asked, Periphery to center. They have asked to arrange from periphery to center. Probably in the next AIMS exam, they will ask from center to periphery. They might ask. So then the mnemonic just ref, uh, rever reverse the mnemonic. Like you should come from here to here. E. coli. Just write the mnemonic here. You come in this order. If from periphery to center it is E. coli. If from center to periphery it is the reverse of this. Okay. You just arrange the sequence of options from this order. But anyway, just remember the mnemonic. So they might ask from center to periphery also. You keep it in mind. 
See the answer is option D as we discussed. Just remember this picture, you reinforce it in your mind. E for 8th now. Cochlear nucleus, Oliver is superior Oliver nucleus, lateral lemniscus, inferior colliculus, medial genuclear body and auditory cortex. You remember this circle, this is from this direction, right? So, this is periphery and this is center. Okay, you keep it in mind, you, you uh, mind map this particular image so that it gets reinforced in your memory. Okay, move on to the next one. We'll just see few points about each component of the auditory pathway. Eighth nerve. What does eighth nerve, otherwise called as cochlear nerve, does? The function of eighth nerve is frequency and intensity of sound determination. Frequency and intensity of sound determination is done by the eighth nerve. Whereas the cochlear nucleus processes the neural processing. This is the first site of neural procession. The so location of sound is taken care by the superior olivary nucleus. Also trapezoid body. So localization of sound by the superior olivary nucleus. Okay. And also trapezoid body. What does lateral lemniscus do? It's concerned with resolution and organization of sound. What about inferior colliculus? It tunnelizes sound stimuli. Okay. Medial genuclear body takes care of sound consciousness. So the remaining leftover option is auditory cortex, which we have divided into two, namely area 41 and area 22. Area 41 is bro Broadman area at the superior temporal gyrus, which identifies the pattern of sound like pitch and rhythm. Whereas Wernick's area, area 22 deals with differentiation of noise, differentiation between the noise and music. What is noise and what is music? Pleasurable sound to the ears is music, whereas irritable sound is noise. So the differentiation is done by the Wernick's area, that is area 22 of the auditory cortex. So previous exams, there has been, um, there has been a multiple MCQs tested from this particular table. You just remember, see take home, uh, take home from this table is Broadman area 41 deals with the identification of sound pattern like pitch and rhythm. You should keep it in mind. Second one, differentiation between noise and music is taken care by the Wernick's area. That is area 22. Okay. So frequency and intensity of sound is determined by 8th nerve or cochlear nerve. Remember, and other options, you just practice again and again and keep it in mind. So, you see here, cochlear nucleus, 8th nerve, crosses, crossing over of fiber is happening here, crossing over of fiber is happening here. Fibers are crossing to the opposite side to the superior olivary nucleus that is O. From there they ascend up to the midbrain. From there they ascend up to the forebrain. Okay. So the ascending fibers are called as lateral lemniscus, which ascend upward to the midbrain the inferior colliculus I. From there, they are reaching up to the, ascending up to the medial geniculate body M. So, E, C, O, E, C, O, L, I, M. From there, they end in auditory cortex. A. Yeah. Let's see one more representation to make you clear. So, 8th now, cochlear now from here, it's traveling to the cochlear nucleus, traveling via the cochlear nucleus, 
decussating fibers form the trapezoid body. Fibers are decussating, they are forming uh, trapezoid body and they are ascending up to the superior olivary nucleus. I'll just mention the mnemonic here. E for the eighth nerve, C for uh, cochlear nucleus, O for superior olivary nucleus. After decussation, the fibers ascend up via the lateral lemniscus up to the inferior colliculus. From there, they are sti still ascend up to the medial geniculate body M, and from there, the fibers lay up to the auditory cortex A. Okay. So, the very important point to note here is the mnemonic should be clear, and you should read the question twice or thrice whether they are asking from periphery to center or center to periphery the arrangement questions no they can confuse between uh, the sequence of arrangement it can be from uh, one end to the other end you read the questions twice thrice and then from your mnemonic you just start drawing the uh, writing the numbers and after that you see the options that option will be there and that will be the correct answer okay we'll see you with uh, some other high yield mcq discussion for aims, thank you.